I've been using the Rode 3 for several months now and overall I've been enjoying it. But there are several things that I think need to be improved so that it can reach that next level. So I'm going to talk about what I like, don't like, what improvements I think should be made, and things you need to know about the Rode 3 to make the most of it as it currently stands. Now I'm not going to talk about how to use the Rode 3. If you want to learn more about that, you can check out my Rode 3 playlist. In terms of the metronome, I don't really use it. I feel like they can probably take out the vibration mechanism and maybe have space for a better sensor or a better motor, but that's just my take. In terms of winding strings, I tend to wind from the tuner page because you can immediately stop it once you let go of the button. Uh, whereas on the winding page, you have to toggle down the speeds before it stops. As far as the user interface and screen go, I don't have a problem there. And I love the fact that it has USB-C and I've had no issues with battery life. So you'll definitely be able to get a lot of tunings through this before you run low on battery. So let's talk about tuning. And just so you know, I'm only referencing the fast tuning mode. First is the speed. The Rode 3 tunes slightly faster for a six in line tuner arrangement because your hand position isn't going to be moving that much. But for my guitar, which has a three on a side tuner arrangement, I was able to complete it in around 25 seconds when tuning in the same tuning. When tuning to an alternate tuning, in my case, tuning from standard and to open D, it was around twice that time. Of course, your mileage may vary depending on the difference between the tunings you choose to tune from and to. Speaking of your mileage varying, there are a couple of things that might make a small but important difference for your performance on the Rode 3. Like I said before, tuner arrangement is a big one, but other than that, what kind of tuners you use could have an impact. Now on my guitar, the tuners are a little bit stiff compared to one of my friend's guitars, which was a lot smoother. And I found that the Rode 3 had an easier time tuning on his guitar than it did mine. I didn't do extensive testing on this, but I think it's something for you to know about, especially when it comes to fine tuning where smoother tuners might give the Rode 3 an easier time making those smaller adjustments. Another thing to keep in mind is to make sure you're using lubrication or graphite from a pencil on your guitar nut so that it prevents binding. And this is just a good thing to keep in mind even if you're not using the Rode 3. Which leads us to the tuning accuracy. Now it's kind of hard to give a definitive measure for tuning accuracy, but I'm comparing the Rode 3 to my Polytune clip-on tuner and overall it was pretty close with a few of the strings being a little bit high or low. Now let's talk about some of the issues which probably can be solved with some sort of software update. Now it's important to note that most of these are from user error, but I think that if we can prevent these from happening in the first place, it would be a better user experience. And if anything, these are just things that you should keep in mind. First, sometimes the Rode 3 tunes down, which can potentially cause string binding. However, recently Rode 3 had updated their firmware and fixed this problem with a setting called Tune Up. Basically, if the Rode 3 tunes too far, it'll tune back down and then back up again, which will mean that there is no string binding. So make sure to update your firmware and enable this feature in the settings. Now I mentioned this point because it just shows that the company is continuously working to improve their product, which is a good sign. Second, the Rode 3 can't identify when you're strumming a different string than the Rode 3 is on. So if the Rode 3 is on the sixth string and you're hitting the fifth string, the Rode 3 will just continue to whine. Hopefully you can catch with your ear that the pitch isn't changing even though the tuner is whining. So please, hopefully you will stop strumming and your strings won't break. I think this can be solved if there was a way for the Rode 3 to identify constant pitch within a specified time as a sign that you're not hitting the right string. It would then stop winding and then give you some sort of warning. Finally, the Rode 3 is programmed to wind and unwind in only one direction. So to wind, it's counterclockwise and to unwind, it's clockwise. The issue is if you accidentally put on your strings the opposite direction, the Rode 3 will just continuously unwind your string thinking that it's tightening it. 
This happened on my acoustic guitar where I made that mistake, but just live with it because I can easily just tighten the other direction. To solve this, I think there would need to be some more complex coding. So I understand if they don't do anything to fix this one. Just make sure that you tighten all your strings the correct way, counterclockwise to tighten. With any innovation, there's a series of improvements that need to be made before the product is perfect. In its current state, the Rhodey 3 is definitely usable, but it's just not at the level that it could be at. With all that being said, I have been enjoying my experience with the Rhodey 3 and I have been using it regularly. And with a company that continues to improve their product, this is definitely something I can get behind and support. If you like this video, hit the like button, make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.